Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with a large duration in Microsoft Project. Okay, so when you are going to use a Microsoft Project to create the project plan, if you are going to use a standard calendar for the project, so the timeline for this project will be using for some the working day in in a week. But sometimes you want to include some the week weekend to the project. So you can use some of the allowed duration in the project. Okay, so that's why in this video today I will show you how to use the elapsed duration in the project. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this okay this is the Microsoft project and I will go ahead to create some tab here to show you demonstration. Okay. And here you see the project. Firstly I will set the Start it for this project. Okay, and then you see the calendar for this project. And here I will be using the standard calendar. Okay, so for the standard calendar, it will be working in in the morning from eight to twelve, and uh, for the morning and for the week for the afternoon will be from one to five p.m. Okay, and we have the working after working days in a week from the Monday to Friday and will be of work from the Saturday to Sunday. Okay. That means the Saturday and Monday a uh, Saturday and Sunday will be non working time. Okay. Cool. So here let me go ahead to create some tab. Tab one, task two, task three. Okay. So I will change the tab mode to Auto, auto schedule okay and then I will enter the duration for each task for example the task number one will be performed in around Friday task number two will be Friday as well and task number three will be six day task four task four task five task six okay and for task number four it will be around ten day Okay, and task six, uh, task five will be around uh, twelve day, and the task six will be in fifty day. Okay, so here, let me show you the first one, task number one. It will be in a week, from mon from Monday to Friday. So I think it's okay. We have no nothing. It will be finished in in a working week, so working day. So I think we have no issue with this one. For task number two, you see here, it will be also performed in Friday. Okay, I think it's okay as well. The same task number one, but for task six, task number three, you see, it will be performed in six day. Okay, so that means we have to com complete the five days in the first week. And for one day left, it will be finished on the next Monday of the second week. Okay, so if I want to speed it up, the work for task number three, I want to add some uh, resource allocation into the project to speed it up. And or I can work on the weekend. So in case if you want this task will be working on the weekend, you can change it to elapse elapse duration. So here. When this is the so what does it mean the elapse? For the elapse is the working and it includes the working time, uh, I mean working day and the non working day in a week. Okay, so that means in one week it will be half seven day in this of Friday working. Okay, so for example here you are going to change it to six e. E stand for E love E day. Okay, so when you change this to the six E day, that means the task duration will be changed to physical time. Yeah, and it will include the non working day time. Okay, so that means when you change to the you are going to change this one to to E days, it will be finished the task on Sunday. Okay. 
So same thing for task number four. Yep. This one is using a standard working time, and here it will be performed in ten days. So that means the work will be finished in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. So here, if I change this one to eleven. It, yeah, show. You see here, this one will be for task number four will be finished on the Wednesday. It did a Friday. Okay, it is sooner than the previous time. The same thing for task number five. E day. Yeah, show. That means task number five will be finished in around two weeks. Two weeks in. So it is up there uh, two more week at uh, two more day in the week number three. So same thing for that six. E day, e days, yeah. Okay. So I hope this one will be useful for you. So uh, when you have some things, uh, when you have some tasks in your project behind schedule, and or you want to speed it up to finish project sooner than planned, so you can change the duration. From the standard uh, calendar to uh, uh, elapse calendar, elapse time duration in the project. Okay, so hopefully it will be helpful for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.